But, and he's actually pretty sweet. Uh, I love the fact that he's gonna be gaining, uh, he's gonna be. Thanks so much for checking out the channel. Today we are doing a brand new hero breakdown on Batman or Isrod. No, but seriously, why does this guy look like a bat? It's literally the weirdest thing that I've seen. I don't know what's going on here. He's got 758 on his attack, 768 on his defense, and 1423 on his health. Statistically, the attack power and the defense, those are all right. A little bit above average, but his health total is pretty sweet. I do like that at 1423. He's running at average speed. He is a League of Villains event hero, which means he gives you a bonus. Between two, three heroes, you get anywhere between 5% and 15 chance to heal 10% or 30% of the dealt damage when attacking an enemy. So if you've got two or three heroes, you also have the potential to be gaining some life back. As far as this hero special goes, he deals 225% damage to the target and nearby enemies. The caster and nearby allies counterattack with 80% of the received damage for three turns, and the caster and nearby allies regenerate a small amount of mana for each counterattack. This effect gets diminished for consecutive counterattacks during the same turn. It's pretty sweet. I do like this. He's just dealing a substantial amount of damage to the target nearby enemies at 225. It's it's pretty decent. And then also counterattacking him and his homies. And then you're also regenerating mana, which is really, really sweet. I do like that quite a bit. So when we take a look at him on an emblem sequence, being at a paladin, which is really, really cool because it's a very defensive emblem that you can be putting on him, I recommend going the defense attack health strategy. You wanna keep him alive and then you can definitely be increasing that attack power, which is gonna be dealing more damage when he goes off. Welcome to Gemstone Legends. New team-based RPG game with unique match three mechanics. Experience a huge fantasy world full of heroes from different fractions. Unleash the power of legendary dragons. Form the team and choose from more than 300 different heroes. Discover 3 million artifacts combinations. Play now. When we take a look at what he does against the Titan, he is currently sitting at a B. Maybe this goes into a B plus, but the unfortunate situation is with him without emblems, he's only got 758 on his attack power, which is okay. And then uh, when you're counterattacking, it's not really the end of the world. I know it really seems like a good idea, but it's not really the end of the world. And then he's also uh, just dealing some direct damage. So you are gaining some mana on him. That's probably where the, the B plus kind of goes into it when he deals damage to the target or nearby uh, nearby allies. So a little bit possibly to be used, but effectively it's not a strategy you use to get really high scores on Titans. If you have no other option, maybe you use them, but not my first choice. We take a look at him offensively. He is going to get an A minus grade. I do like this character quite a bit. We did bump him up. Uh, with him dealing uh, damage to the target nearby enemies, I do like that. And then I do like the counterattacking. So uh, I think that there's a lot of usage that you could be using with him. As we've seen, there's a lot of characters that are dealing damage to everybody at this point. So obviously like Finley, we've also got like Frigg, we've got, you know, Elizabeth. They're all, there's a lot of damage to all enemies. So what I do like about this is that this kind of counteracts that because most of the time you're going to be able to have them suicide into your guys because at 80% because they're dealing so much damage by mass enemy damage, I think that you have potential to where you could definitely be suiciding some of their characters into it. Um, but, and he's actually pretty sweet. Uh, I love the fact that he's going to be gaining, uh, he's going to be gaining mana every single time that he's hit. Obviously, it regenerate, it, uh, the amount of mana is decreased by however many consecutive times that character gets hit. But I love the mana regeneration. That's really, really awesome. He's sitting at an A- right there. Now, when we take a look at him defensively, obviously things change a bit with the raid formations. Within the standard format formation, he's currently sitting at an A-. Now, if we think of the, uh, the double version or the reverse double version... On defense, I love this character in this in the three spot because it sets it up so that everybody's going to be counterattacking 
and he's dealing damage and everybody's going to be gaining mana so you can definitely exploit this currently he's sitting at an a minus but obviously that goes up closer into an a maybe possibly into an a plus definitely is annoying it's in that annoying factor as far as what sif is doing but this is more on the aggressive dealing damage where sif is going to be reducing the amount of damage and also counterattacking. obviously the counterattack is a bit is a bit of a difference compared to sif versus him but i love the fact that you're just going to be dealing damage no matter what and you're also going to be gaining the mana as well too so i think that this could definitely swing in there you might see them as the new event uh, as this event keeps going on you're going to see people progressively putting that character in the three spot on those reverse and double formations so but overall he's got about an a minus grade there in the flank position he's got a b plus obviously you're in a situation where you want to exploit the fact of the counter attacking and not being in the tank position that kind of goes against it and then in the wing it's a b i'm not really a big fan of making sure you're you're not taking advantage of what he does which is counter attacking and also gaining mana so don't do that so defensively he's currently sitting in an a minus i think that this will be seen a little bit more as things progress and people try and exploit that double and reverse double strategy when we take a look at his weekly raid grade he is going to get an a on rush attack i love the fact that he's dealing damage he's counterattacking at very fast speed and he's also setting himself up to gain mana to everybody in rush attack gaining mana is really 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 helpful so i do love this character on rush attack he definitely be used there on his buff he is going to get an a minus on buff uh just being that he runs at average speed he doesn't really impact the board too too much in terms of removing buffs but he is going to be adding the buff on your guys for the counter attacking so it could definitely be used there and on bloody battle he's going to get another a minus grade there he doesn't really crazily do too much i do like that he is at average speed he is also counter attacking um so there is a possibility maybe he goes up in that he is going to get an overall grade of an a minus there is a possibility this goes up a little bit but i think that he's right around that a minus grade i love the counter attacking dealing damage and then also gaining the mana pretty sweet character probably a little bit under the under the radar currently but i think that these will start popping up a bit more so let me know in the comments what do you guys think of this guy if you haven't leveled up let me know in the comments i really appreciate all the support make sure you subscribe you turn those notifications on and i'll see you on the next video but it's gonna be really sweet. I love I baby.